Welcome to Wikibon Whiteboards. I'm Stu Miniman, and joined from, with me is Brian Gracely. We've been talking about cloud for many years, but we wanted to step back as we look forward and really kind of say what is the state of cloud today and what are the, some of the models here. So, Brian, uh, you know, you've got dr drawn up here a couple of clouds. What are we looking at? Well, um, you know, the, the most basic level people talk about public cloud and they talk about private cloud, right? And then somewhere in between, sometimes we talk about hybrid cloud, but that really means some combination. We've seen the market evolve. Um, you know, there are the, the large web scale public clouds that everybody knows, the Amazons and Azures and Googles. Um, private cloud being people's on-site data center, on-premises data center. And then we've seen an emerging sort of uh, enterprise cloud. So maybe not targeted at new startup applications, but really how do I better run today's business applications? And that typically ends up being off-premises. Okay, so yeah, I mean, let's let's start. First, public cloud, I think, is the easiest one. Uh, right. You mentioned Amazon, you mentioned Azure. Uh, Wikibon put out uh, its first forecast uh, right. for public cloud. Uh, and we actually said that if you go out to the future there, it's about one third of the overall market is, is going to shift there over time. Right. Um, maybe give a little color. You, you, you did some application work. Uh, you know, what's right. going in the public cloud today? What are some of those early use cases? And, and maybe what's not go, going in the public cloud today? Right, so right now the simplest way to think about this is, um, you know, we talk about something called systems of record. You know, the, the big back office applications, uh, your core business assets, your core uh, finance applications, HR, some of those types of things. Those tend to live uh, you know, within a customer's data center. And what we're seeing more and more, if it's not just a brand new startup, is people saying, how do I augment my business? How do I augment how I do sales, marketing, customer acquisition, a customer experience, whatever? They're doing those more out here in the public cloud, and then they're trying to kind of augment the two of those together. So uh, I may not be doing a transaction uh, application uh, in the public cloud uh, for whatever reason, compliance, security, but how the customer learns about me, how they interact with it, the big data analysis around it, a lot of that's moving out into the public cloud because of scalability or uh, they want to do testing to see what works well with customers. Yeah, I, I, I like that. It's very much an application look at what's happening there and how the applications are changing. Right. Uh, there's some applications that are being born in the cloud, mm -hmm. uh, especially mobile, uh, so, so some of those environments that are looking there. Um, well, let, let's talk about private cloud. Private cloud, you know, I remember back, uh, we were talking, Chuck Hollis put <laughs> out a blog post. Yep. Gosh, I think it was 2007, 2008. And uh, there were the people that had been talking about cloud and they're like, well, this isn't really cloud because it doesn't have, uh, you know, federated applications. It doesn't have self-service. It doesn't have the manageability, its flexibility. You know, this stuff just looks like virtualization. Right. So where are we with private cloud today? Well, um, a lot of the technical building blocks are there, right? So. Uh, the public cloud is virtualized. The public cloud, highly automated. Um, in the most cases, it's what we would run, we would call converged infrastructure. It's not uh, separate SANs, it's, it's really converged storage and, and, uh, and compute together. Um, the big difference is really in implementation. So the, the skills are there in the public cloud to be able to run it. That's their business. They have to be great at doing that. In the private cloud, it's, it is a lot of virtualization. Um, it's not heavily uh, automated because People are still learning that skill. I mean, they don't need it as much. Um, if you're not a development shop, you may not need the self-service capability. So a lot of it has to do with how much do you do your own uh, custom development versus commercial applications. Uh, but we're seeing that evolve. We're seeing uh, more structured, um, you know, converged infrastructure offerings. We're seeing them embedded with automation and, and cloud management capabilities. And we're seeing them coming from you know, more structured buying offerings, which makes it simpler for customers. Yes, yeah, so, so if I hear you right, one of the big differences between kind of public and what we've been doing private is really the operations of Absolutely. it, how much I'm touching it. Uh, I, one of the stats I threw up out that usually had people say kind of wow in public cloud's important is you know, in, the, in the private cloud, you know, how many hundreds of servers can I manage from a single person? And in the public cloud, you know, it's tens of thousands of servers, right. and it's because I don't have a, you know, if I have a server team, they're the ones that rack, stack, and roll out servers. They don't do the care and feeding, the old pets and cattle right. analogy we've heard, uh, you know, for a number of years. Uh, so I, I guess the question is, you know, Brian, you know, do we have private clouds today? And you know, where, where are we with, with that adoption? Well, I, I, we don't have an exact number. We're going to have a forecast out pretty quickly. Um, you know, we, we tend to think it's probably maybe 10% of you know, the virtualized, beginning to be converged infrastructure is probably what you'd call private cloud. You know, highly automated, some element of self-service, 
There may be pieces of it that people give out what the pricing looks like. Um, but what we're seeing that becomes more of the private cloud is we're seeing what happens up here. We're seeing companies like Oracle, uh, VirtuStream, we're seeing different offerings from, from some of the, the more uh, vertical specific where they're saying, let me take some of those core applications. Uh, maybe they, they've got a way to do cost reduction. They're moving from uh, old power or Spark to x86. Um, it's a good time to move them. Um, and they'll run them in these very dedicated managed environments uh, and they're reducing cost 20, 30%. So in some cases, they're getting the benefit of somebody else helping to run them, somebody else automating it for them. It's still the same SAP, Oracle, vertical application, um, at, but the cost structure is separate. And for a lot of customers, that's that's valuable because now they've got some time to do those new applications or, or budget to yeah, do Yeah, it, it's interesting. Remember, two years ago, we did a survey of the Wikibon community back into 2013. And when we said, do you want the same environment in your private cloud and your public cloud? They said, yes. They say, okay, I've got a VM, or I've got a vBlock, or I've got an Oracle Exadata. I'm not spinning those up in AWS or Azure, right. but I can do that over here in the enterprise off-prem right. uh, environment. Uh, and we, we're a little loose with the terminology because uh, depending on how I build that, you know, if it's SoftLayer, is that a public cloud? Yes. I think so. Yeah. Uh, if it's Oracle, well, it's a public cloud, probably if it's a service that I'm doing, but if it's an Oracle Exadata that I own in that environment, uh, maybe more of it's a you know, managed private cloud environment. Right, so, you get uh, into these nuances of, is it, is it private from the perspective of security or is it private because I own the asset or am I renting the asset, which quite honestly at the application layer, they don't care. They right. just want to know what the business outcome is. Yeah, we, I remember, gosh, when we, when we were first fighting about this a few years back, uh, you know, the great cloud wars uh, of many <clears throat> years ago, right? It was, is it on-prem, is it off-prem? Do I own it? Do I secure it myself? Yeah. What pieces do I own and what pieces do I manage? And what we've been telling IT is you want to get out of doing the things that don't add value to what you're doing. So right. what, what's the important pieces for IT to own themselves and, and what pieces do they push off to someone else, Brian? Right, right. Well, I, that, that's the piece that it, it's different for every business, uh, but we're hearing more and more that people are saying, um, those things that are, that are essentially commodity for my business, um, in a lot of cases, the, the things that, that lived in your private cloud, uh, in some cases, they, they want to move those to, to let somebody else run. In some cases, they're becoming SaaS applications. Yeah. They're HR and, and finance and other things. So we're, we're beginning to see you know, sort of this moving uh, of, of you know, priorities of this, trying to add business value here, trying to reduce cost here and here, and, and people trying to find that whole right mix because um, there are a lot of really viable options nowadays. Okay, uh, and you talked a little bit about the applications, uh, you know, spreading between. Mm -hmm. um, anything on the enterprise side you want to talk about from the application standpoint? Yeah, I think, you know, again, we talked about a lot of systems of record still living on-prem, sort of systems of intelligence living somewhere close to where that is. So if it originates here, it's and then we're seeing these systems of engagement and systems of, uh, you know, uh, driving customer experience that are getting moved into other places because they want to move quickly, they want to take advantage of, of other services that are out there. So the applications are, they're not all distributed by nature, but the, the overall experience is becoming more distributed. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, you know, a hot topic we've been talking about lately is the Internet of Things. Yep. And there's going to be that, that gravity of data. If I've got all the sensors at the edge, mm -hmm. I'm going to need to have the data at the edge. I'm not going to be able to move all of that. Uh, so there, it's, it's definitely not a winner takes all. No. And, uh, boy, it's going to be changing uh, fast. So, you know, the, this enterprise private cloud uh, will be changing rapidly over the next few years. And public cloud's just grown at tremendous growth rates. Absolutely, absolutely. So, all right. so uh, Brian, 2016, as, as you look forward, uh, you know, what, what are some of the major aspects that questions that you have, uh, customer uh, moves that, that you're going to be watching for for indicators of uh, the things at large? Right. So, a couple of big things for me. Um, everybody is still saying hybrid cloud is the model they want to adopt. Um, you know, are the vendors listening? Are they giving them uh, flexible hybrid clouds? Not necessarily, you know, only my technology hybrid cloud. So, that to me is a big area. Will it be flexible? Uh, and then the second thing is, I've been focused a lot on these cloud native applications. So really, the things that are out here kind of augmenting uh, the, the systems of record and so forth, how fast is that growing? Uh, are people willing to pay for it? There's a lot of open source technology in there. Um, so that's where containers and platforms, and serve, all those things are coming into play. It involves new skills. Uh, the technology's there. Do people have the skills to deal with that? Or are we going to have a situation like we had early on with private cloud that they just weren't ready for it? So, those couple of things are really important. Okay, and a big thing we see is 
the operational model that I have here mm -hmm. is really starting to bleed down here. Yep. Uh, I remember really the important. first whiteboard I did for Wikibon uh, was what we called uh, hyperscale skill sets and hyperscale skills bleeding down in the enterprise, and we're really starting to see this come to fruition. So, uh, it, you know, David Floyer, our CTO here at Wikibon, said, uh, if you're not shifting the way you do things, you know, this is the strategic impairment. If you're not Maybe competing is the wrong word, but you know, lining right. up to be more like the public cloud, that doesn't mean embracing everything there, right. uh, but making the change to, to make it so that you're more agile and ha have costs uh, that are more in line. Uh, you just won't be competitive in the marketplace. Right. And, and really, you know, David calls it true private cloud. It really is just, do you measure yourself the way that they measure themselves? How fast you roll things out? Do you have cost transparency? Can you do things on demand? Those are the really important things because your business is going to be asking you for that. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so uh, we welcome a feedback from the whole community on this. Uh, terminology aside, uh, it's exciting times in IT. Uh, so be sure to check out wikibon.com for all the research and look for many more of these uh, videos that we'll be doing. Thanks so much for watching.